The Corporate Affairs Commission has on Wednesday, 15th November, ended a workshop on corporate governance code and the use of enhanced ICT system. The event took place at the bank complex in Kintom, Freetown. How important is such a code? Michaela McKay is the CEO and registrar of the Corporate Affairs Commission. She explains more. Today we bring together stakeholders um, from the private sector, from public sector, um, civil society um, um, players for make we can showcase to them the first code, National Corporate Governance Code for Sierra Leone. And the purpose of this code, it will be used as a change agent for make we able to improve um, governance in Sierra Leone generally. Then we also take advantage of the opportunity for showcase the improvements that we don't do to the website for make we help for give better online services to the customers the way we they deal with on a day to day basis. We all know say um, presently there are plenty of impediments then they we make for instance with institutions you know the work are they supposed for the work, you know they make the kind of progress we supposed to make, you know, they you not know, get clarity in systems and, and processes, people then actually they take responsibility for the enroll them. Today we don't come for showcase initially the code and also for showcase we upgraded ICT systems um, from support we get from IFC. Now the next 15 days the code will be open to um, viewers them it will be on the website we can go for download the code from www.cac.gov.sl and we encourage family for make them go on the website download the code read the code and um, come up with suggestions how we go for make them better if not you when you feel say we need for um, improve on certain provisions then once now something they add value to the code we could consider them in the next 15 days before we validate the code and then it will go to cabinet for adoption madam mckay further noted that challenges such as lack of clearly defined roles between boards and management non-compliance with policies and procedures led to the drafting of the code the commission actually took into consideration the existing impediments in the way we we do business um, in Sierra Leone, impediments such as weak systems and processes, you know, having people in places of authority that are not probably um, qualified to be there and um, don't, don't meet the necessary requirements that may have been laid down by the respective governing tools of the institution. So um, as a responsible institution, and even though we actually primarily just deal with companies in Sierra Leone, but um, the Corporate Affairs Commission approached the Office of the Chief of Staff um, and raised some concerns that we had and um, um, we also initiated the idea of um, the, the country having a corporate governance code because we have taken into consideration how other countries have improved over time, how they have ensured their economy attracts investment. And of course, the idea was brought by the chief of staff. So with his blessings and of course with the support from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, our supervising ministry, we saw support from IFC and we started the process of drafting Sierra Leone's first national corporate governance code. The issue of compliance has been a big challenge. Um, most times it stems from the approach that we use in bringing um, these um, policies to the forefront. Um, one thing you have to realize if you simply just take a policy from another jurisdiction and try to copy and paste, it may not sit well with your operational circumstances. So our approach has been different. Um, the, like I said earlier, the process has been very consultative from the beginning of the code to the end. It was being drafted by stakeholders here in Sierra Leone. Uh, and we took cognizance of our operational circumstances. So it is not something where we have you know, plugged out information from thin air. We have looked at what has worked in other jurisdictions, what could work for us um, um, currently, and um, as a result, could improve um, our governance setting and operations in Sierra Leone. Reporting for Star News, Eric Silas Kawa, Freetown, Sierra Leone.